to me? Yeah. You want to fight? Let's go. Audio Did you see who started this fight? It was just a bunch of nerds trying to pick up fight. Well, have you seen Romeo today? No, not really. He's been acting really odd lately. Maybe in a slump. You need to go talk to him. You have a big game tomorrow. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, bro, what's up? Nothing, just leave me alone, please. Man, what's on your mind? Is it something or someone? It's someone. Is it a girl? No, it's a guy. Of course it's a girl. Well, what's wrong? I don't think it's going to work out. Come on, man. Just forget about that. We have a big <laughs> game tomorrow. Plus, you're the most popular kid in school. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Uh, I wouldn't bet on it. Look, I don't know you. I don't want you marrying my daughter. You're a junior. She's a freshman. Yeah, but you know me, and I'm a nice guy, and I like your daughter a lot. I don't know you. Please, it's not like I'm one of those jerks on the football team. Look, it's up to her. Come to the party tonight, Juliet will be there. If you can win her over tonight, I will let you marry her. Hey! Freshman! Freshman! Go invite these people to the party tonight. Okay, gotcha. Hey, can you read this for me? Uh, if I know the language. Uh, here, I'll read it. Um, the math team, the chess team, Juliet, Rose, AP English, and the student council. So, uh, at the house. Where is this party at? At the house. At the house. Whose house? At the house. Happy little house. I mean, you guys can come if you're not that <coughs> stupid jocks. Bye. Hey, well, we should at totally the house. Have that party. I don't know. Your girl's gonna be there. All right. Hey, wait, guys. Should we really crash this party? Well, why not? Um, uh, last night I had a dream. Dreams often lie, so I wouldn't worry about it. Well, dreamers lie in bed while they're the truth. Dreams are nothing but silly imagination, as thin as air, and less predictable than the wind. I believe the wind you're talking about is blowing us off track. Let's go beat the drums. Hey, uh, who's that girl over there in the green sweater dancing with the county guys? I, I don't know. Lord Capulet, the scum Romeo and his crew are here at this party. Hush, Tibble, you will not disrupt my party. But uncle! Tibble, you will listen to me, leave them alone. Your hand is like holy ground and I am unworthy to hold it. If I have offended you by my forwardness, my lips are standing by to make it up to you. You don't give yourself enough credit. By holding my hand, you show devotion. Because beggars touch the hand of statues. After all, holding your hand against mine is like a kiss. Oh, you look like you're praying. If you would, please grant my prayer and kiss me. Oh, I feel bad. Here, give me the send back. You kiss like you've taken lessons. Julie, your mother needs you ASAP. Okay. Say hello. So, who is her mom? Yes, yes, young man. Well, her mother is the owner of the house. She's very nice, sweet, and good, and very virtuous lady, and I'm very close to her daughter. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, she's one of those nerdy kids. Great, I'm going to tease so much for this. Nurse, who is it over there? The one that wouldn't dance? I don't know. Well, go find out. All right, he's already married. His name is Romeo, and he's a disgusting prep. Nothing like you. Great. I was too rash. Well, this is Hannibal Moss. You can make him feel this way. How am I supposed to go when my heart's still here? Romeo! Romeo, where'd you go? 
you go? Ooh, we'll Romeo, guess what I have? I have rose lining. She looks really pretty. I just forget about that. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, how she shines bright. She is so beautiful. She puts the lights of the football stadium to show <laughs> and makes the cheerleaders quite jealous. She is so beautiful. Her eyes are the color of the night sky. Oh, Romeo, why are you Romeo? You'd still be Romeo. Just lose your label. I truly believe you. Just say you love me and I will exchange everything for you. Who's there? Who are you thinking you can get inside my head? I would rather not tell you because I know you would hate my name. I think I recognize that voice. Is that you, Romeo? Aren't you a jock? I am none of those things if you don't like them. Wait, how did you get here? You know how humiliated you would be if anybody found you here. Love guided me to you. I'm not going to deny the things I've said, but I will say that you were not meant to hear my heart's desire, and I'm very embarrassed. If it wasn't night, then you could tell that I am blushing. But tell me, do you love me? I love you more than anything, sweetheart. Listen, maybe things are moving too fast. Let's see what happens next time we meet. You're going to leave me like this? I need more. What more can I give you? Well, since you say you love me, when I see you again, I would like to make you more than a friend and even a girlfriend. If you truly love me, you have no problem marrying me. I, I will send a friend to meet you tomorrow, and we can arrange something. All right, sounds good. Wait, what, what time should I send someone? Uh, nine-ish. I won't let you down. Now, you had better go. Goodbye for now, my sweet, sweet Romeo. Uh, goodbye. Peace. Well, you see, everything has two sides. There's this flower, and if you smell it, it makes your entire body feel good. But if you eat it, it kills you. There's a good and evil in everything. I'll have to call you back. Um, hey, Pastor, I have something to talk to you about. All right, well, let's sit down and talk. All right, well, you see, I'm in love with Capulet's daughter, Juliet, and I really want to get married to her. And I, like, already have the ring and everything, and I just can't wait to show my devotion to my beloved. Wow, such a change of heart. What happened to Rosaline? How can you be sure you love Juliet so much? Just, just don't doubt me, okay? Listen, she loves me, I love her, and that's all I'm going to ever need in life. Okay, now I need to go. I'm in a hurry. So. Bye. I'm not sure. He wasn't in practice earlier this morning. Tibble has sent a challenge to him, and if he accepts it, then he's already dead. <laughs> Why is that? Because Tibble is a great fighter. He is trained and knows how to fight very well. Hey, guys! Where'd you go in school last night? You sure gave us the slip. And it seems like you didn't slip and fall and break your arm, so, like, what's your excuse for not being at practice? Jeez, quit picking on me. Hey, guys, do you know where I can find Romeo? Hey, let's think. Oh, I need to talk to you alone. Um, all right. Okay, well my friend is Sammy here, and I promise I won't tell, but if you hurt her, I will hurt you. You don't have to worry about that. So, tell Juliet to think of a plan to go to Friar Lawrence's, and uh, tell her I can't wait, and uh, here, here's some money for your trouble. I couldn't possibly. I take it, I insist. This afternoon, she will be there. Alright, bye. <sighs> Nurse, you're back. Why do you look so sad? What happened? Tell me what happened. I'm so tired. Just let me catch my breath. Nurse, tell me, what happened? What did you say? I said, let me catch my breath. I'll catch it! Ah! Are you sure this is a good idea? It might just blow up in your face. It doesn't matter. Whatever it takes to show the girl I love my devotion. Oh, Romeo. Good evening, Pryor. Juliet. I'm so glad that you love me. I really think this is a good idea. Please, let's not just ruin this for us. All I can think of to say is that I love you and I would do anything for you. Friar, let's start this.
clean emergency, y'all. Let's just go home. It's hot. When it's hot, people's blood boil, and we don't want another fight to break out. Nah, you worry too much. Oh, great. Here comes the nurse. Whatever, I don't care. They're a bunch of dorks. Hey, Marcuccio. You're friends with Romeo, right? Yeah, what do you want with him? Fine. Here comes Romeo now. Hey, you Romeo, you worthless scumbag. Come fight me. Listen, Sybil, I have my reasons for loving you and not wanting to fight you. But let's just not do this. Fine, Romeo. If you won't fight him, then I will. Draw your sword if you dare. I will fight you. No, Marcusio, don't do this. Bring it, Tibble. <laughs> Audio.